A champion versus champion match at King and Queen of the Ring between Logan Paul and Cody Rhodes. YouTube channel, what do you want to talk about? Is this going to be a champion versus champion match for both titles or just for Cody's title? And if it is for both titles, who do you want to see win? Why do you want to see him win? And quite honestly, is this a good decision if so? As always, if you liked the video, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, comment down below on exactly what I just asked you to comment about, and let's just jump right into the opinions of yours truly. I'm fired up about Logan Paul versus Cody Rhodes as a match for the World Heavyweight Championship that's strapped around Cody Rhodes' shoulder right there. And most likely, we, we all know who's going to win that match. Now, it does throw unpredictability into the equation if you make it a title versus title match as well. Oh, it's not enough to make it a champion versus champion match. You're making a title versus title match, which is what Cody postponed, uh, proposed last night when he said that if I would beat you for the United States Championship, then it would make me a Grand Slam champion. And what he's speaking is factual, but what... The outcome would be is a little scary for us Cody Rhodes crybabies. Um, and here's why I say that. I already made a video talking about what's next for Cody and that they need to be putting Cody up against mega heels. Logan Paul, people's going to boo Logan Paul when he goes against Cody Rhodes. So you got to find people that is going to hate the heel more than what they love Cody Rhodes for, if that makes sense. They've got to hate Logan Paul. They've got to hate whoever Cody Rhodes faces. So they found the right opponent for the time being. But you put a title around another title around Cody Rhodes' waist. We have seen this happen ten times over. That the fans, us us fans, I, I, all of us, we are easily angered. We are easily upset. We are easily uh, manipulated to boo somebody, whether we whether we really think about it or not, whether the company wants us to boo them or not. They got to be careful with Cody. Cody Rhodes is a mega star. Cody Rhodes is the most over person inside the wrestling world right now. But you can switch that very, very quickly. My grandfather would tell my dad that, you know, the line, there's a very thin line, hairline thick, between love and hate. You can love someone one minute, but it's very easily turned into hate. And if the WWE is not careful, the fans are going to end up hating Cody Rhodes. And I am, I'm, I'm petrified of the thought of that because I love Cody Rhodes. Absolutely love everything about Cody Rhodes. I love what he represents. I love his story. I love him as champion. I loved him before champion. It's a little creepy. I get it. But I just hope that they don't make it a title versus title match. Yes, it adds to unpredictability. But then it don't do nobody no favors because it does Logan Paul no favors. It does no Cody Rhodes no favors. You just got to be careful what you do here because Logan Paul is not a world heavyweight champion. He's a phenomenal United States champion. If you put the title on Cody, what, what good does that do? It hurts Logan Paul right now to lose the title. Losing to Cody in a world championship match does not hurt Logan Paul. Losing the title to Cody Rhodes. Now that's a whole different story.